Hello, this is Logan Wells with Dream Guitars, and with me today, I have a powerhouse baritone from the one and only Ralph Bown of England. Uh, this instrument is decked out with some gorgeous woods, um, some lovely curves, and a powerful sound that is at once focused and voluminous at the same time. Um, really an exquisite instrument. So the uh, back and sides are lovely, lovely, lovely. Um, tight grained Brazilian rosewood. We have um, spruce on top with some nice bear cloth figure throughout and a um, good middle of the road thickness, uh, C profile neck, um, and it's great. It's been in use since 1995, so it's had uh, a fair bit of time to wake up and it's been played in. Um, there's a fair bit of uh, presence and, and bloom, I think, to the voice that um, only comes with time, which this guitar certainly has. So uh, let's get into it a little bit more. <sighs> so as I mentioned, it's a bear claw um, European spruce top with a um, nice little bit of marquetry here for the rosette. And we have diamond inlays uh, uh, for the position markers as well as side dots, of course. The scale length on this one is uh, 28 and a half inches, which is uh, pretty good for a baritone. Um, in my experience, baritones under, tw like 27 is like as low as you kind of want to go. Um, they, they sound kind of light and flabby at that point. But 28 and a half gives you extra meat, extra chunk. Um, works really well. I currently have this tuned into uh, A standard and it works fantastically. So we also have um, lovely rosewood bindings throughout and maple purflings on the top. Ebony, fet, uh, ebony fretboard, there we go, uh, which is also bound uh, with pearl side dots, as I mentioned. We have a um, sort of a snake style um, headstock with the bound logo at the top. Gold Schaller tuners with ebony buttons. Nice little bit of figuring in the mahogany on the neck. Oh, such a neck on this here, bear it down. <laughs> Get a little extra length. As we come down to the heel, we have a strap button, and we also have one at the tail, so you can strap up into this one. Um, it has a, a Highlander IP1 pickup system, so a um, very reliable and consistent pickup. That sounds phenomenal. Who knew? Back and sides, as I mentioned, are Brazilian rosewood. Um, it is, uh, it's got this, this lovely lighter chocolatey color to it. Um, very straight grained, very tight grained. Um, this is some good looking, good looking pre-war looking stuff. Um, you don't really find Brazilian like this anymore. You just don't. And so it makes sense perhaps in 1995 that it was a little easier to come by. And so here we are. Um, such a desirable wood. And stable too, which is the other nice thing. Um, and the sides, I mean, just so tight. It's mm, really good looking stuff. And the, uh, the heel here on the neck is somewhat lower profile. So you can get your left hand up there to those dusty upper frets pretty easily as well. So, pretty great there. Hmm. What an exquisite instrument. It's good. So, uh, Ralph Bound, um, I've been in love with every guitar of his I've ever played. And of course, uh, Clive Carroll, one of my favorite guitarists of all time, one of the worlds, if you will, um, has been playing Bounds for a long time. So that is uh, as, good, as good an endorsement as I can imagine. So if you are interested in this 1995 baritone from Ralph Bound, do please give us a shout. Cheers.